Hello adventurers! You may know by now how much I enjoy D&D and how much I enjoy subscription boxes. I ordered a subscription box from Silverbeam Creations. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Thanks for joining me for this unboxing. Now Silverbeam Creations is a company out of Florida. They have subscription boxes available on their website and through CrateJoy. And their boxes come in a few different sizes. First, they have the Starter Adventure Pack. There's a player pack or a DM pack, depending on if you're generally the player at your D&D games or the DM at your games. There's also a combo pack if you want objects in your box that are both for players and for Dungeon Masters, because maybe you do both. What I decided to order was the Epic Adventure Pack. This is their biggest box. And it's the combo pack for Dungeon Masters and players, but with some added extra stuff available. So let's open this epic adventure pack and see what I got. Ooh, some tissue. Ooh. Okay, we have a few things in here. Ooh, very nicely packaged because they look like they're wrapped in tissue paper and then put inside a Ziploc so everything will stay nice and organized and safe. Let's see, there's, ooh, okay, hold on. Let me open some of these up. Now the first plastic bag has a little paper that says, this month's theme, Court Intrigue. Thanks for letting us create for your adventures. Watch for our emailed newsletter for more info and extras. This month we include a quality dice set with a castle stone appearance. The mini set includes an elf captain mini. Does your hero have an allegiance? What missions would your king send you out on? Included is a detailed stone base and a hunting falcon or messenger bird to send missives back to your lord or help hunt from the campfire. The GM pack has minis to go with the last part of the written camp in the newsletter. A pair of thrones to grace the grand hall, a herald to trumpet and announce your guests, a knight or a guard which has great versatile use for many campaigns as well as a printout on cardstock with the colored grid lines for the castle map with the two floors on each side. Next month is the Dwarf Mines. Expect miniatures, rats, and small terrain pieces. Okay, and then the other side here is a list of everything that's in this pack. So if you ordered the player pack, it had a dice set, the Elf Captain Mini with the stone base, and the Hunting Falcon. If you ordered the Game Master pack, you got the Herald Trumpeter Mini, the Castle Guard Mini, the pair of thrones and the double-sided castle map art card, which is, looks like that's what this is. There's a little double-sided card here, which looks like it has a little map on it. That maybe perhaps goes with the adventure that they talked about in the email. I'm not sure, like I said, this is the first time I've gotten this box before. Um, the combo pack has all of the above, which is what I got, plus Custom limit edition die, one die per month, collect all 12 to have the set. And then the epic pack, which is what I got as well, should also have a shrubbery set, <laughs> that's pretty cool, and the council table set. And then it has all sorts of web addresses for their website, their email, their Facebook, their Instagram, things like that. So let's unwrap some of these. Now, I'm thinking, so here's like a random loose purpley six-sided die. I'm not sure if that's, that must be the um, limited edition die that where it says if you do all 12 months, you end up with a full set. It's like a, a purple, actually that's really nice when the light hits it. It's like a dark purple and a medium purple swirled with some colored, some silvery and purpley sparkles in it and it's inked in silver. That's really cool. But the, so far, this is the only box I've gotten from them now, so I just have the 1D6. <laughs> so the pe player pack. Psst, adventures. 
If you're enjoying this video, can you go ahead and smash that like button? Give us a thumbs up. It helps out the channel more than you know. There's a little note in here though that says subscription ending or canceling. Email us to order the remaining dice and finish the set. So if you don't want to get 12 packs to end up completing the whole set, it looks like you can send them a message and just tell them which dice you have and purchase just the rest of them to complete the set. That's pretty neat. So it does say the player pack comes with a dice set. So that much must be this. Oh, those are really nice. This is like a, it's like a light gray, dark gray, medium gray speckled. It's not sparkly. It's not like glitter, but speckled. They did say that it, the dice, let me read this one more time. The dice was supposed to resemble stone. This month we include a quality dice set with a castle stone appearance. It really does look like stone. They're not stone, they're like plastic resin or plastic acrylic dice, um, inked in white. I'll put a close up in of those so you can check those out, but it's pretty neat how the, the theme of those does actually look like stone. Never can have too many dice, right Dice Goblin? And now I did a little research on their website and it looks as though uh, Silverbeam Creations is really into 3D printing. They do a lot of their own 3D printing and then sometimes they said if they're looking for special materials of a printer they don't have, they'll outsource it. But a lot of these they've printed themselves. Okay, so here's, uh, let's see, the Castle Guard Mini. It's actually a decent amount of detail on there. Now these are unpainted obviously, so they're whatever color filament was used to print these. Um, and this is the Herald Trumpeter. And I'll, again, I'll put some close-ups in of these. This one was kind of printed on a, on a blue material. And the Castle Guard is on a gray material. And then let's see, we're also supposed to have the base and a Falcon Mini. Okay, so the Captain is from the Player Pack. Oh, the Castle Guard and the Trumpeter are the Game Master Pack. So hold on, I might be on the... I guess everything's kind of mixed together. They're not... Oh my goodness. Oh, here's the little tiny Falcon. <laughs> I mean, this is the right, the right size for what a Falcon would look like in your miniatures in your game. And let's see, this is somebody with a cloak on. That might be maybe the Elf Captain, and it looks like it's printed on like a grayish green resin or whatever kind of printer they have. And then let's see what's in this. Oh, the Thrones, okay. Oops, there's something else in that one. Oh, I almost tossed that. That probably has the bases. Oh, and here's the two thrones. These have some really great detail on them. These probably, if you're going to paint them, would need to be primed first because um, a lot of times uh, just a regular layer of paint doesn't stick very well to the resin or whatever these are actually printed out of. So they may need to be primed first. And if I continue unwrapping this, it looks like, yeah, we've got the bases. Let's see, castle stone base. Okay, now let's open the second bag. I think these are the epic pieces, right? So we have the dice set, elf captain mini, the falcon, the trumpeter, the castle guard, a pair of thrones, the map card. Aha. Ah, yes. Okay. That's so great. So this would be the shrubbery pack. And these are very, very... I'm not talking about like shrubbery you would find in the forest. These are very landscaped shrubs. Like if you had a court garden and you had a gardener that would go out and trim the shrubs into different shapes. It looks like we've got rectangles, squares, and circles to make little shrubs for miniatures on your game board. Those are pretty cool. And there's actually four round ones, four rectangular ones, and four square ones for the pack of shrubbery. Adventurers, if you love all things Dungeons and Dragons, tips, tricks, unboxings, and reviews, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you don't miss any of my epic upcoming videos. This is so cool. And then this must be 
the, uh, what was it called? The council table set. Okay, so this is right now, it's been printed in like a light blue color. So you would definitely need to paint this. Wow, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chairs. Are these little chairs that go around the table. The table top and the base, okay, which has like a little nub on it. So you just put that in there. And there you have the little council table, it has some cool designs on it, kind of like a King Arthur in the round table. And then the chairs that go around the table at the eight spots. Oh, that's pretty neat. Okay, so that is everything that comes in my first Silver Beams creation box. And honestly, there is a lot of stuff in here. And like I said, I did get the Epic Adventure Pack. So I've got the table and chairs for the council. I've got the pack of all the shrubs which is like 12 pieces. Got a couple thrones. I've got three uh, character minis, the little tiny falcon mini, a base, a seven piece dice set that looks like stone, and the, what do they call it? Not limited edition, but, uh, you know, cost, yes, custom limited edition. One of the custom limited edition dice that go with a set if you order 12 boxes in a row. So this is a decent amount of stuff, especially if you're playing with miniatures and you like all these kind of things in your game. Uh, mostly my games right now are online through Discord because of everything going on in the world, but I'm looking forward to when we can start playing in person again. And this is a lot of really neat stuff because we, we really enjoy playing with um, terrain and maps and 3Ds and miniatures and stuff. But just wanted to give you guys an insight as to what the Silver Bean Creations boxes were like. I got mine off of Crate Joy again because I sometimes have to manage multiple subscription boxes. But you can get their boxes straight from their website. I'll put a link in the description down below. You can also order it from Crate Joy. And I also noticed while doing some research on this company that they have an Etsy shop. And one of the things that they do in their Etsy shop is they can custom print a spiritual weapon. So if you have the kind of character that actually has a spiritual weapon, you can contact them through Etsy and tell them what type of spiritual weapon your character has and they will custom print one for your game, which I thought was pretty cool. For more unboxings, check out the playlist I have on the next screen and go have an epic adventure.